What's going on guys? It's springtime in the Pacific Northwest and that means I can actually take outside pictures and videos of snakes. So this is the 2021 ball python babies that are still left to sell. There's not too many of them. We had a pretty good season thanks to all our customers. If you're interested in any of these you can shoot me a message on Instagram or just head over to Hair Hollow Farm or my morph market and you can check out more information there. Peace. Bye. So this is a leopard 66 percent head dg 50 percent head pied his father was a leopard 100 percent head pied 100 percent head dg and his mom was a het pied he is super stripy so i'm those are good markers on leopards for head pied and he takes frozen thawed mice and he'll take a frozen doll rat pup also or live got a cool leopard belly as usual super dark and he's getting big um he isn't the nicest snake when you first get him out but he's all right current weight 300 grams he's a 2021 available this one is a male butter lesser I don't think this one got extreme 100% heck clown he's from a GHI extreme clown to a butter pen he's also eating frozen thawed mice he has a pretty good personality pretty outgoing for a ball python baby anyway He weighs two hundred and seventy two grams. This is a extreme pinstripe female, hundred percent head clown from the same pairing as the other one, GHI extreme clown to a butter pen super reduced just extreme doing that beautiful color sheets frozen thawed mice she weighs 304 grams this beautiful girl is a extreme butter Pinstripe Het Clown. Same pairing as the previous two. And I can tell it's extreme because it's more reduced than a normal butter pin. There's a lot of breaks here. There's a color difference, the like connected eye stripes and like the cleanness of the dorsal stripe. Extreme's definitely underutilized. Uh, but it has a cool sort of enhancing effect, especially in the super form. She's eating frozen thawed mice as well. She weighs 247. This girl is a pastel inchy cinnamon, so the Alila combo 100% het desert ghost from a NTDG to a pewter. She's quite a bit older than the other ones. She eats frozen thawed mice or rats. Uh, she's probably on like a weaned rat now. She's pretty good personality wise. The DT pewter is like really blown out, which is cool. So I'm hoping like if somebody wants to work the project, if you put Inchi back into it, it gets a little more pattern back if that's what you're into. She has these really cool floating sides and the cinnamon and then you know the inchy brings a lot of color back into it. I guess she's an ALS she'll always produce either cinnamon or inchy so she can never produce desert ghost combos that are normal so, so that's pretty cool. She's fading out a lot because she's starting to get big. She 
can't go wrong with a 100% hat. See if we can get her on here without it being a crisis. She is 466. I also have three normals that are either 100% hat or pos hat for various recessives, but the recessives don't matter because they're males. So this one is a normal head clown, but they'll be sold at normal male prices. Super beautiful, all on frozen thawed mice, growing big and fun to play with. This is mostly like a local pickup thing. If somebody knows somebody's interested in a pet in the Pacific Northwest, um, they can pick it up here in Yelm or they can meet me at a show. Probably do the Monroe show, I don't know. If you want to add one of these guys to a, another purchase, because you want to give a pet to somebody, um, you can probably just go for free, just because the box is going out anyway. This one's super beautiful, actually. I think this one is extreme also, but it doesn't really matter. Because you should be breeding mostly visuals. So there's three of these. I won't show them all because that'd be pretty boring. But this one weighs, they're all similar size, all in frozen thawed. Weighs 240-ish, and my dog's barking, because that's my life right now. 